Once you have your models built, you can begin to animate them moving around your scenes. Let's take a look at how to set keyframes on our objects. We'll use our spaceship as an example. The first thing we'll do is talk about where the animation tools are located. You can see there's an animation shelf right here with a lot of different tools available to you there. There's also an animation menu set that will change the menus to be more animation focused. We also have animation tools down at the bottom. Here's the timeline shows you the frame number that you happen to be on. Here's the range slider showing you the range of frames that you're looking at. Think of this as an animation from frame one. We can go all the way here to frame 200, although we can set these values to different values if we want. We also have playback controls. So as I hit play, you can see we're playing through our animation. Nothing's happening now because we haven't set any keyframes. So let's do that. We'll start by going to the first frame of our animation. Let's choose something we want to animate. In this case, it's going to be our spaceship. So I'm going to select a piece of the spaceship and hit the up arrow a couple of times until we get to the highest level. You can see that by every, the fact that everything is selected. Now let's put it in the position where we want it to be at this first frame of our animation. We'll use the move tool to do that. Let's push it back into space along the z-axis. I'll pull it up along the y-axis. Pull it back here. And just put it in a spot somewhere like that. Now there's a few ways that we can set a keyframe. We can come up here to the channel box, highlight the channels that we'd like to key, right click, and say key selected. You can see that those fields turn red, letting us know that there's a keyframe on that particular frame on that particular channel. If we move to another frame, you can see that that turns pink, letting us know that those do have animation associated with them, but there's not currently a keyframe on our, our current frame. We can also just hit the S key to keyframe all of our attributes. That's a quick way of setting a key. Now we need to decide where to set our next key. So let's come in about frame 60, go back to move, and let's kind of move this into position kind of above where we want it to land. So we'll kind of bring it up in here. And so maybe something like that. And we can move our camera around a little bit. And let's set a key. Now let's play our animation. If we click this button right here, we can go to the beginning of our timeline. And then we hit play. And it'll play through our animation. We also have controls right over here. The guy running next to the little gear. We can open up our animation preferences. And we can choose a playback speed. Let's choose real-time playback at 24 frames per second. You can also choose the range of frames that we're working with. That can also be changed here. You can change the range that you're working with here. And you can also increase this number so that you have 300 frames available if you want. Let's uh, set this to about 150. Let's play back our animation again and you can see our ship goes straight from this point to this point. Let's say that we want to have him hover there for a little bit. So what we want to do is copy the frame on 60, the keyframe, and paste it into another frame later on. So to do that, let's right click and say copy with that frame selected. Go to frame 90, right click, and we'll paste that frame in. Now these two frames are the same. Let's now set down our ship on the ground. We'll go to frame 120, and let's move it down onto the ground. So something like that. And let's hit S to keyframe that. Let's play that back. So right now, it's a very linear progression, and we want it to look a little bit more natural. So let's start to add something beyond translation into the keyframes. So at this initial keyframe, we'll make sure we have frame one selected. Let's go to rotate. I'm just going to rotate the ship into a position kind of like that, and I'll hit S to update that keyframe. 
Now it goes straight from that position to this position, and I want to create a little bit more of an arc. So let's come about halfway. We'll go about frame 30 or so. Let's go to move or translate. I'll move it over a little bit, and let's rotate it a little bit as well. So it's kind of doing a bank. We can scrub through the timeline by just clicking and dragging. On frame 60, let's update its rotation so it's angled up a little bit more. And we can scrub through to check our animation. Now we've changed the frame on frame 60, so it's now different from the one on frame 90, so you can see there's a little bit of movement there. That's okay because we want it to be sort of hovering a little bit. So let's just tweak those values a little bit and then go kind of in the middle, push it down a little, and let's change the rotation up a bit. So we get a little bit more of a hovering. Let's play through the animation. As soon as it starts to go down, I want the front of the ship to pitch up a little bit. So right about here, let's go in, change the rotation a little bit, and we'll leave it rotated up a little bit all the way to there, and then have it set down. Let's give it a little bit of a settle. And let's play through our animation. Not too bad. We can always overshoot a little bit when we come in. We don't want it to come to a complete stop, but that's something you can change with those keyframes. Let's say that we don't like the timing though. Let's say that it's coming in too slow or too fast. It's very easy to change the timing on these. I'm just gonna click on this first frame, shift, drag across all of our other frames. That gives us handles where we can move the keys around into different spots without changing the spacing, or we can change the timing of those keys by clicking on the arrows on the front and back. For instance, we can speed things up by pushing those keys closer together. Let's play through our new animation. Now everything happens much quicker because we've taken all of those keys and squeezed them together. We can do the same thing if we wanted to slow them down. We'll increase our frames. Again, shift, drag across those, and we'll just drag on one end to expand them out. And you can see they space out evenly. Now everything's going to happen much more slowly. The channels that are being keyed, you can always see over here in our channel box. And you can see the pink color letting us know that those are animated. And then when you get onto a keyframe, now we've moved our keyframes around a little bit, but once you get on a specific keyframe, then those, will, those channels will be red. So any object that you want to move around, all you have to do is select the object, make sure you're on the frame that you want to be on, hit the S key to keyframe all of those transform values. Now that we've talked a little bit about animation, let's take a look at how we can start to set up materials and work with textures inside of Maya and the Hypershade. We'll take a look at that next.